as you can see, I'm, uh, I'm not in one of my Mustangs or in the convertible. This week I'm in a, a truck, a rather large truck as a matter of fact. I've been down to Los Angeles. Uh, a guy I used to work with years and years ago uh, had a huge, huge uh, studio down there, recording studio for motion pictures. And uh, unfortunately, uh, tragically, it went bust. And uh, while I used to work with the guy, and you know, I have warm, fuzzy feelings, it didn't uh, stop me from uh, going down and picking over the bones of the, uh, the dead studio. So I've been down at the, uh, the bankruptcy auction, as it were, and bought a bunch of stuff, loaded in the truck, and now I'm en route back to the studio in Salt Lake to put all this lovely new stuff in the studio there. Also, it was just exactly one year ago on my birthday that I started making these shows and putting them up with the pilot episode, which was my birthday party and retirement party all kind of rolled up into one thing. Speaking of parties, I covered the Sundance Film Festival last year, and now that was a party. I have also shot a lot of pieces on cars. I mean, I love cars. Cars are just really, really, really cool. I'm rather fond of race cars. I have to say I sort of suck at driving them, but I sure do like them. I've covered a few open track days at tracks all over the Western United States, and this has been a lot of fun. And I have now twice been to the Rat Fink reunion. I loved Rat Fink as a child, and guess what? I still do. I have probably covered more on model railroads and model trains than any other subject. I know some of the people out there think that's all I should shoot because we all love it together. I've been building model trains since I was, uh, let me see, uh, oh yeah, four. So I'm good friends with something like, uh, I don't know, 2,000 model railroaders or something. And I like to go over to their houses and cover their model railroads and shoot that up. It's just a lot of fun and it's spectacular. These railroads are works of art. The high art of screwing around in physical form. And it seems that model railroaders know no bounds. No eccentricity is too far for them, even building full-size model trains like this one. And I find it impossible to love model trains without also loving full-size real trains. And so I've been following those around and chasing them down like this massive big boy here. That was a lot of fun. And how can you love trains and not love roundhouses? This is the engine shops at Disneyland. I was actually able to get into the back spaces at Disneyland and tour and video their engine shop. Now how cool is that? I got a cab ride too. And I got in over at Knott's Berry Farm, got to ride the train and got into the engine shops. I also got to see some locomotive restorations going on around the country and a bunch of really, really cool train museums. And I've gotten to play with some World War II era military aircraft, got to go for rides in them and see them up close and personal. Haven't had a chance to actually fly one, but since I have no idea how, it's probably just as well that I haven't. But they are just so darn cool to mess around with. And it's fun to spend some time with the people who screw around with these things all day long. And there are many, many other forms of screwing around. Unfortunately, sometimes that ends with an explosion. And sometimes, quite on purpose, it ends with an explosion. Well, 
we've run into a small problem here. This is what you might call the occupational hazards of making Toy Man videos. In this case, while looking for people who are massively screwing around, I have instead found someone who is massively screwed up. And there's a truck jackknifed across the entire freeway, and it's a big mess. Do pop over to the webpage if you haven't been over there. That's toymantelevision.com. And, of course, the YouTube channel, Toy Man Television on YouTube. Subscribe while you're there if you haven't already subscribed. And you can pop over to Facebook, Toy Man Television, and like and follow and those Facebooky kinds of things. I'm not sure how you found this particular movie on the internet. I sure as heck hope you didn't find it boring. And I'll see you back here again in one week with another classic example of screwing around. I'll see you then. Bye.